the grass withers and the flowers fade but the word of our god endures forever heaven and earth will pass away but god's word will not pass away a reading from the holy gospel according to mark 6 days later jesus took with him peter and james and john and led them up a high mountain apart by themselves and he was transfigured before them and his clothes became dazzling white such as no one on earth could bleach them and there appeared to them elijah with moses who were talking with jesus then peter said to jesus rabbi it is good for us to be here let us make three dwellings one for you one for moses and one for elijah he did not know what to say for they were terrified then a cloud overshadowed them and from the cloud there came a voice this is my son the beloved listen to him suddenly when they looked around they saw no one with them any more but only jesus as they were coming down the mountain he ordered them to tell no one about what they had seen until after the son of man had risen from the dead so they kept the matter to themselves questioning what this rising from the dead could mean my dear friends we are in the second sunday of lent we can call it a sunday of transformation wherein all of us are called to transform our old sinful self and radiate the light of christ during this lenten season of grace the second sunday of lent always features the transfiguration jesus was transfigured and what an experience it would have been for peter james and john what a grace for peter james and john to see jesus transfigured they got a picture of the glory of risen christ from the dead and his glory in heaven it was also a picture of the glory we all hope to share in heaven no doubt this was a very special grace for peter james and john as peter james and john saw jesus's divinity revealed their attitudes to jesus must have been transformed just as they saw jesus was transformed we could say that is what lent is all about transforming ourselves and our attitudes so that we can see jesus more clearly during this season of lent we examine our lives to see where we stand before god and each other peter james and john needed this grace now they had left everything to follow jesus and he had just told them he would be killed they needed reassurance and jesus did not let them down they received a huge grace now on the mountain as they saw jesus transfigured moses and elijah also appeared and spoke with jesus Elijah and Moses are significant figures in the history of Israel. Moses led the Israelites from slavery in Egypt and received from Yahweh the 10 commandments. In appearing with Jesus at his transfiguration, Moses represents the law that guides the lives of the Jewish people. Elijah is remembered as one of the most important prophets of Israel who helped the Israelites stay faithful to Yahweh so their appearance enables us to follow God's law 
and to remain faithful to God. Just as Abraham was faithful to God in any given circumstances, even at the cost of sacrificing his son when God told him to do so. The first reading beautifully gives us this episode of Abraham's commitment and faithfulness to God. The first reading beautifully gives us this episode of Abraham's commitment and faithfulness to God. The beautiful part of the gospel is when the father speaks to the three apostles, Peter, James and John and says, this is my beloved son, listen to him. That is what Lent is about, listening to Jesus. Are we giving God sufficient time to speak to us? Is the Lord asking something of us this Lent? If so, let us follow the Father's advice. This is my beloved son, listen to him. Listening to Christ means transforming our lives and changing our ways. It means living according to the word of God we hear every day. Listening to Jesus means obeying his will and paying attention to what the church teaches us every day. So Christ speaks to us through the poor and the marginalized, through the defenseless, through the sick, through the abandoned old people. Christ speaks to us through our lonely neighbors who need some care. Christ speaks to us through families and communities in difficulties. Finally, if we respond to this quickly, rather than being indifferent, then we have listened to Jesus Christ, the beloved Son of God. It took the apostles a long time to get to know Jesus, and the longer they were with Jesus, the better they got to know him. It is the same for us. We also gradually grow in our love for Jesus, and we also grow in understanding what Jesus is asking of us. Another important thing we can notice is Jesus is beloved of God. All of us are called to be beloved of God. For that, we require the inner transformation of our old sinful self so that we may be worthy to be called by God as his beloved. Just as Jesus' transfiguration strengthened the apostles in their time of trial, each holy mass should be our source of heavenly strength against our own temptations and our source for the renewal of our lives during Lent. In addition, communion with Jesus in prayer and in the Eucharist should be a source of daily transformation for both our minds and hearts. We must also be transformed by becoming humbler and more selfless, sharing love, compassion, and forgiveness with others. But in our everyday lives, we often fail to recognize Jesus when he appears to us, transfigured, hidden in someone who is in some kind of need. Jesus will be happy when we attend to the needs of that person. With the eyes of faith, we must see Jesus in every one of our brothers and sisters. We need these mountaintop experiences of Peter, James and John in our own lives too. More so in this London season to remain connected to Jesus. This week, let us pray that we too will transfigured by God's love, compassion, and forgiveness as we continue our journey through Lent with Jesus and each other. Amen. Let the Word of God dwell in you. Join us every Friday to store up God's Word in your heart.